Jake, it was a good start to this game and uh, second half wasn't what you wanted. Uh, what did you see change in the second half? Um, I mean, we obviously got a bit fatigued and they turned it up. You know, they've, they're just for today, they're a little bit, um, you know, we were missing those two guys. Um, that's not um, an excuse or taking anything away from them and their performance, obviously, in the second half. Uh, we don't want to be disrespectful, but, yeah, we got a little bit fatigued. We've got guys um, that haven't played minutes playing over 15 minutes, which uh, they're not, you know, the games aren't used to as much as we train. Um, you know, it's not the same. Um, you know, they changed their pick and roll coverage. Um, you know, I didn't think we were, were bad. We still scored, but I think we went away from things and we got into uh, fatigue mistakes. Um, but, um, you know, other than that is, you know, um, scoreboard pressure was a problem today, but we're missing our two leading scorers. Um, I thought at the beginning the guys did a great job of trying to play dif a different way to score and they were on the plan and then um, you know we, w we just went away from it and to be to get you on the real one is I'd have to really look at it to give you a real answer. Sam obviously really strong first half from yourself and a struggle uh, after half time Do you, you notice that you can improve from this game or take from this game? Yeah um, I mean it's like Jake said they changed that on board D they started to drop it which I mean, I got a lot on the rim in the first half. That's probably why I scored a bit more. Um, I think, I mean, the big one for me is probably looking after the ball in that second half. There's a few times I turned it over, a few too many. Um, just being stronger. I mean, it's it's frustrating. You know, last week I get 15 free throws on some of those same plays. And this week you get three and seven turnovers. No, there's always positives and negative. There's always positive and negatives. I mean, it's just ridiculous if you think that um, you know when we come into a situation, um, you know, where we did have a good uh, you know first half and uh, we did some, did some good things and we stuck to the game plan with guys that don't play for us. You know, I mean, um, I can't, um, I can't. Um, I can't like uh, sell them under now and say, oh, it's not good enough. Uh, by no means, um, you know, we are we are a young group, and there were some maturity things that happened today that the guys will learn from. But we couldn't learn on the run. You know what I mean? Um, there's some frustrations that um, that we we haven't had with our main guys, and we haven't had when uh, we've been we've been getting um, w when we've been playing horribly. You know what I mean? So, uh, but that's for the guys that haven't played a lot to learn, and um, you know, we, you know, we brought it up in there, which we don't often talk afterwards. But um, you know, there's again, is we got a lot of guys that um, that are in their first years of, um, um, you know, their first couple of years of their contract. I mean, Sam's our most experienced NBL player, other than Timmy, obviously. Our wrote, um, Timmy's a replacement player, but um, you know, so um, yeah. And he, how old are you? Twenty-two. Yeah. So I mean. There's, there's a lot of positives that way, but we're in a teaching mode right now, unfortunately. Um, and, um, you know, we're just trying to play a certain way to, uh, to, lead to lead to some wins eventually when we have a full team. And we thought um, we started to get some momentum um, in the last four games. And obviously this has been another little bit of a hurdle for us, but we've bounced back all year. And... Um, you know, um, I didn't think we were too too bad today. You know what I mean? But you know, obviously we're we're yeah, yeah, we're in that learning phase. Sam, were you sort of pr proud of the fight that you guys showed early? Obviously, the last three quarters they sort of suffocated you, but to I guess to be leading the quarter time is a positive. Yeah, I mean, the guys we have, uh, they play hard. I think you know, think back to, I mean, that's kind of been the culture we've built here over the last two years. Whoever's on the floor, we're going to play hard. Um, and when, I mean, Mud comes out, guys like Greedo's coming back and dang, dang, they're always leaving everything out there. And I mean, shots were dropping in that first and then uh, I think there was a bit of fatigue. We started turning over, missing shots. And I mean, they're, they're a good team. They, they took advantage of us in that regard and ran it up on us. And then we just struggled to get it back. Yeah, Jacob, following on from what you've talked, touched on, but I mean, let's be realistic, without, without Mike and Tyler, this was always going to be a, a tough effort because everything you do goes through those two guys there. 
I mean, they've, I think, 36 points between them. They're your two leading scorers. And, you know, can you put into words how tough it is to actually play without probably two of your most important players? Uh, I mean, look, when I put the play card together, what we're actually running, and I was trying to figure out, I sort of dawned on me we run a bit for Tyler and uh, Mike, yeah. But, um, look, it, it is difficult, um, but when it gets to uh, so extreme like that, um, you know, as you said, is no one's expecting anything out of us, and we do have a, a young group that can be a little bit fearless in that regard, and that's what happened in the first quarter. Now, to maintain that against a team that plays all four quarters, and it's probably one of the one, one of the teams in the league, I don't know if it's the best team in the league, I don't know who is, but I know they play all four quarters. It was a, it was a big ask to heart. For, for me, in, for me in, in general is, is, you know, as a coach, um, you know, th this whole year has been difficult. I mean, I'm not it, for a, for a, for a, for the first time I'm doing what we thought we were going to be, um, you know, and the changes that we've had to make. It has been difficult, but um, again, is we are working really hard on making sure we have good days and making sure we don't, you know, we don't we don't hate coming into work. And all we can do is is put in efforts at, like we put in, and uh, and keep learning. But. It was, you know, we do run a lot of stuff for Tyler and Mike, as do every other team in the league with their Americans. I don't, I mean, because I don't want to get into a thing where Tyler takes his shots and that, you know, and they do average 36 points uh, between them. But I also don't think if you add those 36 points, we win as well. I think, think these guys did a good job keeping the score. You know, if we kept it to 80, I thought that would have been a really good, uh, really good job today. And maybe if, you know, Sammy gets a bit lucky on that foul line again, um, you know, it, it becomes a, it becomes a reasonable, uh, reasonable day. You touched on an interesting point just there. How tough of a start it's been to your life as a head coach. I don't know if it could have been tougher with everything you've had thrown at you. Now that you've got you know, more than a week before your next game when you play on New Year's Eve. I know the work doesn't stop, but during this period over Christmas, can you take a little bit of time to take stock and, and uh, I guess, try to try to make sense of what you've, you've gone through so far this season? Oh, I, I, I don't... I don't... I, I, I apologise. I do not want to make this a woe-is-me situation. I mean, this is a challenge. Um, as coaches... Um, you know, um, as coaches, um, you know, we, we embrace challenge. Uh, I mean, fuck. <sighs> it's two in a row. Two in a row. <laughs> Sorry, boy. Yeah, my bad. But as a, <laughs> uh, you know, I get to, co I mean, I get to coach Sam. I get to coach Tyler. I mean, it is tough. And we do have a bunch of young guys that, um, that, that, that we'll, we're growing together. And, you know, um, right now is when, when you do have two two Americans out like we did or two imports out like we did, I get a free whack and I get to make mistakes and no one really notices them. You know what I mean? So I'm not going to I'm not I'm not sooking, I'm not worrying about it. I'm treating it as growth. And um, you know, we we are gonna be better than this. And um, and I'm getting good support from the coaches in the league, great support from the coaches in the league. You know, nearly every single one of them has said not lovely things, lovely things to me after games, and I'm getting support from my um, from my pe coaching peers. You know, so um, once once we do get healthy and once we get it right, um, you know, um, you know, it'll it'll, it'll 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 be what you guys think fun again. But this is basketball; it's fun. Can I just add on that? I think. My first year at the Hawks, when we won five games, we're struggling similarly to then. But th and you see it around the league in some teams. This is nothing compared to that. You know, Jake's got full buy-in from all the players. We all want to be here. We all enjoy coming to the day today. It's you know we're going through tough times, but Jacob, the job he has done with us, and he's taken a lot of the pressure on himself, and some of the crap that he has to deal with from some people whether it's on social media he's taken it all and handled it himself and you know from us as a playing group it's so important for us and it takes so much pressure off us and for that fuck like <laughs> <laughs> we're in like, trouble he's, <laughs> like that's just he's he's such an important leader to us and I have no doubt going forward in the future he's going to be one of the best coaches in this league I think it's obvious what you're saying, Sam. I think it looks like your team chemistry and 
and your fight that you're showing is, is obvious. I think it, I think you deserve a lot of credit for the way you're sticking together. Um, what about for Christmas for you? Do you get a, any chance to catch up with family over this break, given the way that all four of you are playing around the country right now? Uh, I might see Keely because she's in Sydney, but the other two, uh, all over, I mean, no, we. That's the schedules are too hectic. But uh, I am going to spend it with my girlfriend uh, down in down in. Sydney, uh, New South Wales, and she'll be happy with that because she got angry at me for not mentioning her in the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> you mentioned your girlfriend, Jacob. Do you get to spend Christmas with her? <laughs> yeah. <We're done. laughs> yeah, I get, I get to, I get. She, yeah, she's she's flying in from Townsville today, so I get to see her. Hi, and um, we get to spend Christmas together. No, I, pr- I appreciate that. <laughs> we can cut out that last part. Let's <laughs> Thanks, guys. Merry Thank you. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you, that got wild. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.